Kenneth Allen and his little sister Carrie have just committed an unthinkable act. They've murdered their own mother. His only option left was to get rid of the mother as well. She was going to be in the way of getting the money. But their shocking behavior descends to new depths when brother and sister fall into bed together. Incest seems like it may have been the natural next step. Carrie was already Ken's slave. It's only a half step to get to sex slave. And Ken and Carrie's twisted partnership is about to claim another victim. Only two people stand between Ken and Carrie and $200,000. And one of them is their grandmother, Betty. After Kenneth and Carrie killed their mother, Sharon, a couple days later, Kenneth picked up the telephone and contacted his grandmother, Betty. Hello? Grandma. Oh, hi, Ken. Mom's real sick. Oh, really? Can you come and help us out? No, of course. I'll, I'll be right over. I'm leaving now. Bye. He called her up and, and said that, that his mom, Sharon, had been ill and that uh, she could, he could use a little bit of help taking care of her. Betty, ever the caring mother and grandmother, comes over right away. But it's a trap. When she arrived at the apartment, knocked on the door. Yeah, Kenneth opened the door, and as she entered the apartment, Kenneth put a plastic bag over her head and suffocated her to death. And it happens under the watchful, admiring eye of Carrie. Carrie stood in the living room and watched her brother suffocate her grandmother. He wanted it to be hands-on because he wanted to get the feeling of actually taking a life and being in control, the power that comes from that. Even compared to other killers, Ken and Carrie were, were icy, cold-blooded. 